Welcome back to WordPress Made Easy. I'm Dave Swift, and in this video, we're going to be talking about three main things. First, we're going to talk about sidebars in WordPress. What are they? How do you customize them? Then we're going to talk about widgets, which are actually things that live inside of sidebars. We're going to show you how to set those up. And then finally, we're going to talk about page layout or how to get that full width look if you're not using a page builder. So let's get right into it. Here's the homepage that I've been working on. Now you can see I've got a sidebar here, right? So it's just got some kind of boring content over here, just some stock photos thrown in. But there is a sidebar and it's not all that attractive right now. We've got archives, categories, meta. These are not very user-friendly names. It doesn't really entice me to want to use this page. So what is going on here? How can we clean this up? Well, to get started, let's go over to the page editor. I'm going to go up here and hit edit page. So first of all, if I just wanted to remove the sidebar altogether, I've got a couple options for how I can do that. If I only want the sidebar removed from this one page, I can do so right here in the page editor. I'll go over here where it says sidebar and just choose no sidebar. I can also move it to the left or the right side, whatever I feel is right for this page. But you'll notice that the default setting is the customizer setting. So this is going to be your global default, whatever you, whenever you create a new page, it's going to default to whatever you have set in the customizer. So let me show you how to edit that in the customizer. We'll go up over here to appearance and choose customize. Now I am again using the Astra theme here. It's just the free version. But if I go down here to where it says sidebar, I'm going to have those similar options that I just saw in the single page editor, except this is going to apply across the entire site. Now for this site, I don't want to have a sidebar at all. So I'm just going to turn that off. All right, there we go. I can see my page update in real time. The sidebar has disappeared. But what I noticed is that the content kind of stayed exactly where it was. And that is because the page layout is still set to kind of anticipate there being a sidebar, even if there isn't one. So what I'd really like to do is get kind of a full width look and not have these borders here between the content. Now to do that, I can again do this on two different levels. I can do it on a individual page level or inside of the customizer. Let me show you since we're already in the customizer, let me show you here. So I'm going to go over to global and then container. And then instead of having a box layout, I will do a full width contained layout. All right, here we go. You can see that those lines on the side have disappeared. The content is now one. Uh, my my uh, video actually looks much, much larger because the container has gotten much bigger. Let me just give you uh, a, an example. Let's go back to the box content. There we go. That's what we had. So we have these lines over here on the side. Everything just is a little bit more squeezed together. Now I'm actually going to leave this as is and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to turn back on the right hand sidebar. Let's go ahead and publish this and jump back into WordPress. All right, we're outside of the customizer. Here is that content layout. Now once again, this is on a page by page basis. So if you wanted to override the customizer settings for a particular page, you could do so right here. It's the same settings we just saw inside of the customizer, but it would only apply to this one page, not the rest of the website. Also, when you're in the page editor, you don't get the live preview of what's happening. Everything kind of looks the same. So what you have to do is go ahead and hit updates and you can either hit the preview button or what I'd like to do is just preview it live on the site. Uh, you know, if, if I don't have a lot of traffic going to the site. All right, there we go. My sidebar is back because I turned that on, but the content is now full width. I don't have that boxed look. All right, now how can we make that sidebar look a little better? Assuming we actually want to have a sidebar on this page. So let's go back into the dashboard and let me show you how to edit this. We're going to go under appearance and choose widgets. And now depending on the theme you have, you might have slightly different settings over here. But in Astra, I have a main sidebar. And right now it's set to show the archives, the categories and the metadata. Well, first of all, I really don't like the term meta in terms of uh, you know user experience. Most people just don't know what that means. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that column right here. Instead of calling this categories, maybe I'll write something like browse posts by topic. I've got some options here from Astra to display this as drop downs, show post counts or hierarchy. I'm just going to leave it as is. Under archives, I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of the archives page and let's go ahead and add recent posts over here. We'll go ahead and give that a title of latest posts. And let's just display three posts here. All right, so what we've been doing is looking at these different widgets that are available. And then I've just been moving them over to different areas of the website. So right here is the main sidebar. I've also got some header widget space available. There's uh, plenty of different options for the footer. So if I wanted to move different modules over, maybe I wanted to add some text, I could certainly do that. Let's go ahead and put this up at the top. I gave it a title of welcome to my site and I could enter some placeholder text in here. 
here. All right, now let's go ahead and save this. Now, just like when we created the menus, you can actually set all of these widgets up inside of the customizer now. This is a new feature again. We can go ahead and enter live preview mode right here. It's actually just the customizer that's gonna open up and I can see the text that I've added is right here, the latest posts as well as browse posts by topic uh, that I created over here. So the sidebar is definitely looking a lot more inviting at this point, uh, but that's the general idea. Now I could further customize the look and feel of this with either the settings inside of the customizer itself, or I could use some custom CSS if I knew how to do that to really give this a very polished look. Of course, if you already saw our video on how to customize your theme by making your own archive page, you'll know that if you're using Elementor, you could open up your archive page and just add a sidebar right in there. It will dynamically populate. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm in Elementor and I'm in my templates here. I'm gonna go to the theme builder. Now we've already added a header and a footer and a blog archive page that showed all of our posts. Now I could do this on a single post level as well. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add new. Now the type of template I'm gonna create is a single post. We'll choose single and we'll go ahead and just choose post for the post type. I'm gonna call this single blog post. And once again, I've got a lot of different templates I can choose from. This one here has a nice sidebar. Let's go ahead and preview this. All right, so we've got some recent posts, some social media and a video tutorial over here. Let's go ahead and insert this. Now you'll notice that unlike the other templates we've entered, this one doesn't actually look like the template that was in the preview. And that's because it's pulling in dynamic information. So dynamic meaning it's just changing based on the context that it's in. So right now it's grabbing the data or the content that is in the posts that I've already published and then inputting them into the template. All right, so let me show you what I mean. Up here, if I click on this, rather than it saying my first post, it actually is just displaying the title of the WordPress post. So if I were to go back and change that original post I made in lesson two or three of this course, that would update here automatically. And more so, this template will adapt to every single post that I create going forward. So I really only have to make this one post look really nice. And then as I make another post inside of the WordPress editor, just entering in plain text, it will take on this appearance. Now here is my sidebar. I actually don't have to deal with widgets at all. I've got a search up here at the top. I've got a little text, uh, static text. This is not dynamic. It's been just typed in. So about me, that's gonna display on every single page. We've got some social sharing icons down here. And then we've got recent posts. Now, if I click on the recent posts, it's actually just displaying the last few posts. It says the last three posts. Now I don't have very many on this site, but if I had more, they would show up right over here. And I don't really have to worry about updating this. As a new post is published, it will automatically show recent posts on every single other post. I hope that's making sense and you can start to get a feeling for how truly powerful and cool this really is. The actual post content is right Right here, right? So this is not an image I drag and dropped. It's the featured image of the article. And then down here, we've actually got the post content itself. At the bottom, we have the author info followed by some Facebook comments. So you can comment right from your Facebook account. There's a nice call to action here, which I could link up to my email autoresponder and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and publish this. I'll have this show up on all post pages for now. Great, let's go ahead and view this page. All right, this is looking pretty good. Let me give you some context here. So if I'm on the home page, I have this you know, kind of ugly page that we just threw together in the WordPress editor, but then I can go over to the blog page, which will show me that archive page we created uh, just a few lessons ago. This is gonna show me all of my most recent posts. And then if I enter into a post, let's go ahead and click on this one just to give you some perspective. It's gonna take on the look of that previous post. So really all I've done is I've created an archive page template, a post template, a single post template, a header, and a footer and all of the new content that I designed for the website is gonna be generated automatically because of those templates in Elementor. All right, things are starting to get a little bit complex around here. I hope you are hanging with me. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I'll try to answer each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next lesson.